Um, so to answer the idea of um, future and what my future holds, um, it's quite uh, quite a tricky one. Um, I think the last uh, few weeks being in lockdown here in South Africa has uh, taught me a lot about sort of myself and the fact that working in the field of photography has kind of geared me to the whole idea of uncertainty. Um, I sort of look around me and see um, a lot of people scrambling at the idea that they don't have a job to go to every day and uh, working from home and, and so on and so forth, um, which we are lucky enough to kind of deal with on a daily basis. Um, obviously we get the freedom of the job but we also have to deal with that uncertainty. So. I'm quite thankful for that. Um, in terms of how I see the future, it's obviously really difficult to say. Um, kind of just take it day by day um, for now. Um, just working through the archives, rediscovering some of the work that I've sometimes overlooked, um, sometimes gets lost through commissions, um, that sort of thing. Um, so that's kind of inspired me a lot to try and get back to shooting once this is all over. Um, I think it would be irresponsible to think that things are going to be um, back to normal in any sort of way that we are um, accustomed to. So it's just like I think adaption is going to be the key to kind of overcoming any of this. Um, just making sure that the work that you that you're producing is of the highest quality. Um, finding new innovative stories, um, and uh, really using technology. I think I think technology is is our is our main tool at the moment, and um, it's important to kind of utilize that to get your work out there. So. Um, Definitely going to be doing a lot of rollouts in terms of websites, um, updating my journal, which is like a daily blog of, of images that don't make the site or, or my, my other social media platforms. Um, and then, yes, I'm just coming up with like sort of uh, social media strategies that um, that really get it out to, to potential people that will commission your work. Um, other than that, um, once uh, I can get out and start shooting again, definitely going to try and seek out some more personal projects. Um, I've been able to formulate some ideas while, while being on the lockdown, so that's kind of keeping me going and um, keeping the sort of future bright. Um, in terms of professional sort of um, side of things, I don't think, um, I think it's too early right now to say where where I'll be in the next um, little while but um, hopefully there'll be some positives and um, hopefully the photo editors around the world are finding some interesting uh, projects in South Africa and I can uh, jump on some of those and start working again um, yeah I mean I, I do have some regrets obviously it would be a nice to have a media pass during the lockdown and I could go and explore um, Cape Town and go and see uh, What's unfolding, but um, these things sort of happen, and the lockdown kind of jumped jumped on us without much warning. So um, yeah, um, take it day by day, and hopefully um, myself and everyone else can come out on a sort of positive note and uh, make sure that uh, we're responsible going out into the world and trying to figure things out. So yeah, the idea of change, um, obviously we've uh, been forced into quite a severe um, moment in history where change is inevitable and um, we have to look at ourselves, I think, on a personal level and a ground level, um, changing the way we live our lives each day. Um, and I think in many ways it's, it's been coming and it's, it's somewhat needed that we actually, actually have to look at ourselves as a society and start making changes in our personal lives, um, whether it be something as simple as recycling, slightly changing your diet, um, how you commute every day, um, is it really necessary that you go to the office every day, that sort of thing. So I think 
with these changing times, um, adaptions happening and yeah, some self assessment is going to be important. Um, yeah, even in my own sort of personal capacity, uh, I've become a lot more aware of how I go about things. Um, just just trying to be more conscious of, of how I live day to day. So um, I think obviously the political systems and governments and so on and so forth um, are going to have to change. Um, but that might take a few months to implement or even years. So I think it all kind of needs to start with us. And um, yeah, hopefully um, the education systems will change, big business will change, you won't have to go into work every day. Um, but there will also be sort of positives that come out of, out of that. Um, people that will start work maybe a little earlier, get their work done by, by say midday, um, spend more time with their children, um, some homeschooling, some parent sort of um, children interaction, I think, um, will be good. Um, yeah, and I, I think things like traffic, um, big industry kind of refining their way, um, their output emissions, that sort of thing. So I think there'll be a lot of positives. Um, obviously, the economic toll that um, this whole um, virus is going to have on on. The global economy is um, yet to be discovered, but um, we're going to just have to see how it plays out and uh, try and make those changes um, day by day. Um, so, with regards to my reaction um, to essentially having to adapt to this time, um, has been very similar to my to my previous answer. So. Just um, going over my archives, um, trying to tackle all the work that I've, I've been putting off because you get caught up in the mess of, of constantly moving forward. So I've just taken a, a time to take a sort of breather, um, reassess, um, get every, all the work to kind of where I see it and where I want it to be. And then kind of from there, using that as a platform to adapt to whatever kind of comes from the the new world we live in. Um, yeah, so the uncertainty is, is there and um, we all got to kind of go into it um, and tackle it uh, head on and see see what happens. Um, um, so yeah, that's kind of my, my stance on the whole thing is I can only control my sort of little bubble um, and, and that's the way I'm kind of going about it. Um, then hopefully I'll have to just ebb and flow through whatever whatever comes next.